another skincare splurge and trial. Today we are trying the Clinique Moisture Surge 72 hour replenishing hydrator. Mm, 72 hours, eh? You know that some of these things are not true, but sometimes I would just sit here. I've done it before where I just kind of put the thing on one day and then the rest of the days, like they claim 72 hours, you're going to be hydrated. So I wouldn't put anything on there. It's like if it's 72 hours and you're very expensive, let's see whether you can really moisturize my face for 72 hours. But I'm sure that's not what they mean. You have to read the little letters and all that. So yeah, it looks like that. It's like a jelly thing. It's like a gel. Okay. Yeah. I like those consistencies. You know, things that are like a gel. I really like that. And it's from Clinique. Because when it's a gel, I feel like it goes on that much smoother. But yeah, this one is really doing something for the moisturization of my skin. And I love it. It making it's making it so smooth, so smooth. Oh my goodness! Ooh, yeah. You know, but I'm not gonna say this is nothing you can't find in like the ordinary products or whatever. I feel like with skincare, you just have to do what's according to your budget. For instance, I'll let you in on a little secret. This is a tester because I'm not gonna just buy all these things willy nilly. Sometimes you have to see what it smells like. It kind of doesn't really smell of anything yet. It's 100% fragrance free. It's allergy tested and 72 auto rehydrate gel cream. I know that's a lie, but that's probably because I put some very, you know, stringent things on my face, like very harsh kind of chemicals on my face. Like the antibiotics that I got from the doctor that I put on my face, they really dry your face out. So then this stuff is not gonna hydrate your face for 72 hours. When I say 72 hours, so do you mean that the next days I'm not supposed to put anything on my face? That's what I don't really understand about these things, like what they mean, or that the hydration just keeps building and as you're using this thing, it's just building and building and building. I don't really know. All I know is that my face feels plump, as you can see. Plump. See that bounce back? Ooh, 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 I'm rejuvenated. Mm, 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 mm. Feels good. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say is that it feels good. It's very smooth. And you be the judge of whether this is worth your money. But um, I also wonder how long these things last. I mean, you don't need a whole lot. I didn't use a whole lot, but it feels good. But if I were you, just try the, the regular products and try the stuff that I always say. I come out of the, the shower, I wash my face, um, and I do not dry it with any towel or anything. Because the towel has been washed with washing soap and washing softener, right? Wash, eh? laundry softener. Anyway, it's been softener, whatever. There's all these chemicals on there. And sometimes it's really not meant for your face, so that can irritate your face. And I just let it air dry. I just let it air dry, and then that means less stuff is touching my face. And then I make sure my hands are super duper clean before I ever touch my face. And the rest of the day, I try not to touch it at all. Because that's when you're touching all kinds of things, and then people are just like, this used to be my favorite way to sit, just like this. Just watching people go like that. It's like your hands is, and I always use like a lot of alcohol gel and stuff like that, but your face is full of germs. So it's not the best thing to just be like this all the time. So yeah, just follow these tips, use very cheap products like simple and stuff like that and see how far you can go with that. And if your acne is really bad, just really go to the doctor because they, they've got that stuff to knock it right out the park. If anything, we've seen all these celebrities like Justin Bieber, um, what was this chick's name? A whole bunch of them, I think even uh, Alicia Keys, they were all advertising for this proactive, the acne thing that we've seen years and years ago. They all had like serious acne because of the mulas, chiching and stuff like that and treatments and stuff like that. That's what actually made their thing go away. I know that these rich people go and have treatments. It's not only these serums and stuff like that. Sometimes we need to do some heavy duty stuff to get rid of acne. But what us regular folk can do is go to the doctor. Like if it's really bothering you, if every picture you're trying to see, hmm, what side has the less pimples? And sometimes it's your forehead. So you'll be taking pictures like this, cheese, because you don't want everybody to see your acne. That's no way to live. You need to go to the doctor. They have things, they have antibiotics. Sometimes it can be a fungal infection. It can be any type of bacterial infection. Like sometimes something's actually amiss with the skin and it could be one time that something touched your skin and now it's just brewing in there or whatever, whatever you're doing. That towel that has a lot of chemicals on it that you keep putting on your face. And it's not only face, we're also here on a journey to cure chest knee and back knee because I got that too. So we're gonna go on a journey and see what works for that. The antibiotic I'm talking about, I actually do put it here and there as well every day. So that's supposed to help with that, but we don't want to be on that forever, right? So we're gonna figure out how to actually cut back on this acne and fight against it. So yeah, 
that's what we're doing over here. So stay tuned to the channel and we're gonna go through a lot of things and we're just gonna figure it out together. Um, somewhat on a budget because I know what it's like to spend a lot of dough and still be the age that I'm at and just be like, why are you still here? Why is this acne still here? So don't spend too much of your money because that really doesn't work. If you're really struggling, you've tried everything, go to the doctor. That's what I would say. But in the meantime, we're also gonna find products here and there that will help on top of whatever the doctor has given or if you can't or haven't been to the doctor yet, what you can use that is actually good and tips and tricks. We're gonna discuss all that over here. So if you're not already, make sure you hit the thumbs up, add something, and the subscribe button, comment because I really wanna know what you think. Are you suffering with acne too? What have you tried? What works, what doesn't work? Share, let's, sharing is caring. Let's learn together how to, yeah, how to, how to combat this thing, how to fight this thing. And um, like, because you obviously like this video and it's actually free. Some of y'all be really stingy with the like button. You watch the video, learn a lot, giggle, laugh, whatever, okay? And then you just exit the video. Like it takes literally one second to click that like button. So please do, I really appreciate it. And while you're at it, hit the notification bell so that you're notified for the next video, which will be very soon. <laughs> Make time for glorious life. It's time to start what they made right. I'll see you in the next one. God bless.